On August 15, the NHC first noted the potential for tropical cyclone development in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico from a tropical wave that was located over the Central Caribbean Sea. The low emerged over the Gulf early on August 19, producing disorganized showers. Due to the threat the developing system posed to northeastern Mexico and South Texas, the NHC initiated advisories on it as a potential tropical cyclone at 2100 hours universal time coordinated that same day. As the disturbance moved northwestward toward the Gulf Coast of Mexico on August 20th, a Hurricane Hunters mission found that it was still a surface trough. Later that day, it moved inland, striking the coast about 60 miles, 95 kilometers, southwest of the mouth of the Rio Grande. With that, the window of opportunity for tropical development closed, and the NHC issued its last advisory on the system at 3 o'clock Universal Time coordinated on August 21st. The disturbance brought heavy rain to coastal Tamaulipas and coastal South Texas. Voiceover text comes from the Wikipedia page for the 2022 hurricane season and from this storm's individual page. Voiceover generated by an AI voice program.